Hey everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Knights of the Republic 2 video. So we're going to start with Telos today, doing all the storyline there. And we're finally off progress. It was a little bit slow, but we're hopefully going to pick up soon. Correction, on the way to Telos. I think we have to go talk to Kreia, I believe. Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. That does not surprise me. Any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. Save your pity. I am here to save you, not the other way around. I do not need your condescension nor your lectures. If anyone needs training and guidance, it is you. I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. I'm just kind of doing the dark side route of it. If you think a connection to one such as yourself gives me any comfort, then you would be wrong. I desire this no more than you do. It seems that at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the Force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. Oh. <laughs> I lost influence. I got light side and dark side. Okay. So let's go talk to Adden, and we're going to get to Telos. How's our passenger? She's still aging? What a surprise. Just so you Jedi know, the whole cryptic routine isn't mysterious. It's just irritating. Wait, what is he typing on? <laughs> in the future, you should be at the Bazak table. You got a point. How old do you think she is, anyway? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Yeah. Her face looks like it was plowed by crazed Ord Mantell farmers. Don't tell me you were too distracted by her personality to notice. You call this piloting? This is nothing. If Paragus had any place other than Telos in its astrogation charts, trust me, that's where we'd be headed. Well, if you thought Paragus was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. So, what happened? Uh-oh. What's he want? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Oh, yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Huh. <laughs> Figures. It wasn't red, was it? Yeah, unique how? Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those sit think twice before coming after us. No full, but... All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. I think the Exile was one of the Jedi that returned from the Mandalorian Warriors and then returned to the Jedi instead of joining Revan. Isn't that true? I don't remember. It's been a while. And they're essentially like stripped of everything when they came back, yeah. Real nice uh 
welcome party. So let's go to Citadel Telos, yeah. If they think we caused the explosion, uh-oh, here comes the welcoming party. Uh-oh. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Grin, Telos Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. That as it may be, the circumstances of your arrival are suspect at best. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. You are the only witnesses of the mining facility's destruction. Thus, it is necessary for us to keep you under surveillance until we have a better idea of what happened. I don't think so, dude. Look around you. Even if you manage to overcome all of us, Bay Control could simply open the MagCon field and shoot you into space. So, let's not do this the hard way. Given your position, it would be a good idea if you took a more accommodating tone. My men will relieve you of your arms and armor. Follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in Residential Module 082. As I said, this is only temporary while other arrangements are made. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to bear with us until then. I'll remember this. <laughs> well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit I'm a little disappointed. I love the sassy responses in this. Doubtful, though at least it appears you have some spirit. The exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taking the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave her alone. You want to fight? Then try me, if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually. And an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match to my skills. Oh, what a fool. You would regret that. <laughs> this is 
security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the Force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, oh. Who is that? Is that Batu Rem? Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters, and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Officer, that Lieutenant Yima... That was weird. He just didn't say anything. Into this. The <laughs> rest of you come with... These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? Let's go. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> right now. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the Sith... You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Oh, yeah. Someone's on the phone. Dr. Soka Lenu. Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Ethorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. <laughs> he says he wishes to speak with you on behalf of Chodo Habat. That's all he will say. Very well. I'll inform Moza and send him on his way. Get lost. Perhaps we will be <laughs> able to rest uninterrupted. Man, people are just calling me all the time. Zerka Corporation, hey? Good day. I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jana Lorso. May I put you through? Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am Jana Lorso. I understand that you were approached by an Athorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help. Attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Yes, they play at being downtrodden innocents. Having come to you because of these Jedi rumors that are going around the station. Oh, I'm sure you've heard that you're a Jedi. One of the last. Wanted by the Exchange and who knows how many other organizations for reasons good or ill. But that's of no interest to me. The Jedi and your standing with them have no bearing on this discussion. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, Please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation, and I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Gotta help Zerka. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? 
take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force and what remains. They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do her a disservice by not speaking of this while she is present. Oh, look who it is. Right on time. ...to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragus facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. All right, so I guess we should get that ship stuff done. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station, whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Makes sense. I'll follow your lead. All right, we all leveled up. Okay, we're finally ready to go. Um, that's not too long, you know, it's just a bit of talking. You know what? I don't mind talking in these games. They don't feel like they're overdrawn or, you know, like boring or like, you know, characters just babbling for the sake of babbling. You know, like whatever they're saying has importance. I, I like that. I don't mind that at all. Oh my God. Look who it is. <laughs> Perhaps Choda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people if they truly suffer so. She endured it out, and she behind Gorovia. When Gundas, Hori Sidan Gil. Yeah, I get lost. Beat it. Alright. Uh, should I go... I'm, I'm familiar with the map. It's been a long time since I played. I think I... Um, should go to the... Like, register my ship or maybe something like that? Shuttle bay? Oh, that's the entertainment module. No. Alright, what's this? Oh, it's Zirka. Maybe we'll go talk to that lady. 
Yeah, I don't have any gear. Oh, but I leveled up. I don't want one more point of strength. I should put some more points of persuade. Yep. And powers. So can't get force lightning too yet. I don't have a lightsaber. I'm not even gonna worry about that just yet. However, I'm looking for the one dark power that where is it that drains? Here. Okay, that's force choke. Drain life, that's it. Oh, level nine. Sure, right, let's get fear. And I just auto level my companions up. I don't really care that much. Unless I'm playing on like hard, I don't bother. Let's go get my ship stuff first and then I'll talk to Zerka maybe. And that would be the cantina. We're in compound. I don't want to talk to that loser. Um, medical units. Okay, you know what? I think the shuttle bay was... It was at the... Uh, you know where the entertainment module was? Onderon? Oh, lab station. Alright, so let's look at grenades. Chemical cost 40 total. I need so many chemicals. I gotta start looking for that stuff. Still too low. Oh, oh well. I guess we'll try that later, maybe. Level up our security. Yeah, we'll go back to that shuttle bay over here. That's the exchange. Yeah, it's gotta be this. I would love if they remade this one after the... I heard they were making Kotor 1. If they're doing that, they should totally do too. I would... Yeah, I like... I love two more. Um, one is still great. I find the pacing is better in the second one. Yeah, because I have like lower patience than most people and I need stuff to move along at a good pace. I think that's why I have such a problem playing uh, Starfield is it's very slow. Okay, um, what do we need? I'm gonna buy that. Morian exerting minus two? Nah. Hmm. Uh, oh, holy crap, that's expensive. I don't have that much money. It'd be kind of cool if there was a mod that gave you, like, New Game Plus for this. Air Tech Iron Master. Oh, this is even this here. I'll buy that for, well, that's orange. Yeah, I'll buy that for later. Jedi with the blaster. That didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here. It looked like you wanted to make a fool of him. Not even an apology. That won't do at all. This Sulliston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well. We're just trying to work out our differences. That was the plan, Chief. Now, why don't you run along? This doesn't involve you. Oh, rep.
10 credits, that's it? Wow. Oh, there's the cantina. You know, oh, this is the only way. What's in here? Docks. I'm actually surprised Adam didn't say anything there. Okay, so I guess I need to talk to maybe this guy. Girls? Oh, that's a Zerka dock. This dock is off limits pending an ongoing. Oh, apparently I can't uh, even do that yet. So I guess we'll just do the Zerka stuff. Well, let me look at my log. Zerka, no, Ebenhawk. Okay, TSF station in module 81. Must be up here, I guess. Oh yeah, here we go. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF station. How may I be of assistance? I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. A ship's gone? That stupid T3 unit stole our ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me. That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebon Hawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. You will find them in the security lockers. I am not qualified to answer that question. If your vessel has been stolen, there is a fair chance that the exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest. Hmm. Well, looks like the exchange took it. Probably to draw me out. That's my guess. Good job, dude. You let it slip. Something I can help you with? Would you be interested in helping us by bringing in some bounties? This isn't a bounty, so to speak. But we're looking for a man named Batono who's been missing for some time. Also, two ruthless killers that we'd managed to capture and hold here in the TSF station escaped and are currently at large. We're also looking for any information about the imposter Batu Rem. Patono was the overseer of dock operations for Zerka, and was assisting us in uncovering the elusive black market smuggling operation that appears to be operating at a Citadel station. A few weeks ago, he suddenly disappeared. Not much. 
other than what I've already told you, and the fact he was investigating Docking Bay 3. I spoke with some Zerka guards near the Docking Bay, but they didn't seem like they wanted to cooperate with a TSF officer. Thank you. Criminals. They were spotted by security cameras in the docking area, and we quickly moved in to apprehend them. We captured them shortly after you were placed under house arrest. Some sort of electrical malfunction, a side effect of the false Batu Rem's attack, enabled them to escape. They overpowered their guards and escaped into the Citadel. There are two of them, a Rhodian and a Deveronian. They're well-armed and obviously extremely dangerous. They haven't left the station as far as we know. All right, just be careful. What is it? You mean the assassin who tried to kill you, right? The real Batu Rem's one of us, and he's off the station on leave. I hope Batu's okay, though I'm expecting the worst. Shame. He was a good kid. Yes, we looked into it and found that he arrived via a tramp freighter in Docking Bay 3. Unfortunately, the cargo and passenger manifest as well as departure location was not disclosed to us. That's all the information I have for you. If you find anything about the real Batu Rem, we'd like to know if he's safe. Okay, we got three quests on the go now. Seems like a nice little hub, this place. Um, I need to get my gear so we can give Adam his stuff back. Why wouldn't they just put it all in one locker? Oh well. Ah! <laughs> I'm like vibrating. I didn't realize how much crap I got from that station. Alright, well, uh, we are good, I think. So let's uh, talk to the Zerka lady and kind of get things moving on that end. First of all, let's switch everything over. Now, is this better than Jalsha? No, Jalsha is better. I'll give the, the one, the thing I just got to Kraya though. So you can have this one. And let's give you a Vibro Sword. You melee shield. Give you a targeting visor and Scout Enforcer. Mining laser. Jacket. I don't know if it'll actually help him, but. Targeting visor. Oh, I don't have any implants. What do we need for those? Oh, I don't have the resquits. Pre resquits is what I meant to say. Energy shield. Let's give a reflex. Yeah, uh, I think we're good. Kind of excited to go to Narshada, actually. Helos isn't too long. There's not too much to do here, which is good. Cause I don't know if you want like too much stuff to do, you know. Oh, something here. So this is the apartment complex. That's the other apartment complex. So Zerka or yeah, Zerka Corporation should be right over here, right? Here we go. Good day, I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? Of course, she has been expecting you. You will find her through the door and down the hall on the right. Mind if I do. All right. Wait, what? through here. Oh, there she is. I knew you'd come eventually. 
I am confident that we will be able to reach a working agreement satisfactory to both you and I. But where are my manners? On behalf of Zerka Corporation, I would like to be the first to welcome you to Telos. Our primary concern on Citadel Station is the restoration of Telos's surface. The Republic is eager to revitalize Telos as a benchmark for other such efforts in other systems. While a generous amount of credits has been budgeted to Telos, the bumbling of Chodo Hobat and his Athorians has squandered away much of these resources. For a project of this size, judicious planning and thrifty spending of resources is a necessity, something Habat fails to understand. Nonetheless, Zerka remains optimistic. There are many jobs we need assistance with. For someone with your experience, you would be well compensated. Zerka has been managing the restoration project without the assistance of a droid for some time now. Habat has commandeered the new droid intelligence that was to be delivered to the station. I'd like for you to meet the shipment at Dock Module 126, Shuttle Bay 2, and bring the droid back here before the Athorians foul things up again. Alright, Shuttle Bay 2. Excellent. I will secure credits for your payment immediately. Oh, and here. You might need this to get into the hangar. Well, let's go get that droid. I always get mixed up on, uh, all right, so she said Shuttle Bay 2. And that should just be over here. Number 2. Oh, you can transmit via information terminals. I didn't know that. I'm going to steal it right from under his nose. I'm the only man the TSF could spare, and frankly, I got a bad feeling about this. Excuse me, Master, but it seems we have some additional visitors. I will just take all this stuff and totally bring uh, the droid where he's supposed to go. Alright, no 
Let's see if I can transport. Oh, you have to unlock them, uh, of course. All right, here we go. Actually, my game crashed and I had to... to redo that fight. So we're going to take the droid to Zerka. That should just be right here. I will arrange transport to one of the restoration zones on the planet's surface. You will be safe from the TSF there. For the services you have offered to Zerka, you will also be reimbursed. I trust that is an agreeable arrangement. Of course, I will instruct the commander to await your arrival. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> They're gonna run. Yeah, we're not gonna catch him here. I guess we get to go to the surface later, so. Welcome back. I can understand why you might be on their side, but believe me, you wouldn't be doing Telos any favors assisting those amateurs. Oh, sure. Habat's intentions are good enough. But good intentions won't restore Telos. His expensive policy of relocating biological specimens from Onderon without any planning will doom Telos in the end. I don't think Habat even realizes that at their current pace, they will run out of funding before even half of the restoration zones are up and running. Zerka plans to use some of the planet's own resources to help fund the restoration. These extra funds will greatly improve the project in the long run. Habat, on the other hand, can't see beyond his own selfish concerns. We've discovered that the surface of Telos is covered with military facilities that were either destroyed or abandoned during the Sith attack. Salvaged raw materials from these sites can either be reprocessed and put back into service, or resold to help fund the project. Alright, so where do I bring this droid? Authorized circa personnel. Oh man, I didn't talk to the droid. Oh my god. I feel dumb. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back there. He's still sitting at the bay. Alright, maybe I can unlock this fast travel thing here. Let's try that. Yeah, once you unlock the fast travel, it's. A lot easier. I will trust your judgment. I don't understand. I was just told that I would be taken to the Athorian compound. I was to be given to an Athorian, Chodo Habat. How dreadful, in that case. I believe I shall accompany you. Excellent. I see my faith in your abilities was well founded. We'd like to get this droid into service as quickly as possible. Opo Chano? Greetings, Executive Orso. How may I be of service? Just plug into the mainframe and get to work. Right away, Executive Orso. You may go, Chano. I'm sure you have many repairs to see to. Now then, your payment. Here are the credits agreed upon. There is another task I would like you to perform for me. 
Do you doubt that I will uphold my part of our agreement? Don't worry. When my word is given, it will not be retracted. Now, on to business. You proved that you can handle yourself quite well in dealing with the retrieval of the droid intelligence. The next matter of business I would ask of you is much more delicate. When we first set up here on Citadel Station, the exchange was already quite well established. Lopax Slusk had more influence over business matters than the Telosian government. To ensure our success, we involved ourselves with the exchange. And now that we have a handle on the situation, we wish to unentangle ourselves from them. If you know anything about the exchange, then you know that they would not take this well. Slusk is loath to have his hands removed from any business on the station. So a more direct method will have to be taken. To put it plainly, I want you to kill Lopak Slusk. He wants me to kill the exchange boss? Uh, okay. I realize it won't be an easy task, as Slusk keeps himself well protected. You would be well compensated for it. I have a feeling they won't just let you march into their offices. Laksa is Slusk's second. She spends little time in the exchange offices, though, preferring the cantina in the urban module. She might be able to set up an appointment. Good. I will be happy to continue our working relationship. Nice. Dark side points. All right, we'll do that next time. So thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so stop by next time and we'll do some exchange stuff. All right. Take care. Have a good week.